Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to download and configure a pre-built Kali Linux virtual machine for Oracle VirtualBox. So to begin, you need to go to the uh, Kali.org website uh, under their virtual machine section under pre-built VMs. I'll put a link in the description for that. And then you just need to find VirtualBox, which we have right here. So you have some options for a torrent file uh, and some documents. And then you could also click on this for the actual virtual machine file and download it, which I've already done. I have it in this folder here. So it's a 7z file. So you could actually right click on it and extract it with 7zip or WinRAR, whatever program you have that'll open this type of file. So if I just do 7zip, extract, and I'll extract it to its own folder. Okay, so now we have this folder. So what I recommend you do now is not leave it here if you put it in a temporary location. So if you have your virtual machine stored somewhere, I would rename this folder and then move it to that location. Uh, because if you try and configure it from your temporary download location, that's where it's going to stay. And you'll have to manually move it later. But in my case, I'm just going to leave it because this is just for demonstration purposes. So inside this folder, you have your VBox file, which is the virtual machine, and your VDI disk file. So it's 13 gigabytes for this file here for the virtual disk. So you think you'd have to go into VirtualBox and then do some kind of import or you know import appliance, that type of thing. But all you need to do is double click on the VBox file. And it will open up VirtualBox and actually add it as a virtual machine. And then you could go check the settings if you want. See how it's configured here. So they gave it two gigs of memory. You could bump that up. Uh, display settings, storage. So here's that 13 gigabyte file we were just looking at. Audio settings, network settings, NAT by default here. You could change that if you want. USB and serial connection, shared folders, user interface. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. And you could uh, change settings if you like. All right, so we just highlight it here and click on Start. Powering up. Okay, booting automatically unless you press enter. Okay, so the first time you log in, uh, the default login is Kali, username Kali password. So of course you could go in and change this later if you want or add another user. All right, so there's our Linux desktop right there. And of course you could reconfigure that as needed. Let's see how the web browser works. Make sure we're connected here. I got some shortcuts for forms and documentations. Just like so. And of course, you have all your apps and settings, which you could go and configure as needed. You got your bar up here if you want to check your network sound, notifications, change the time, lock screen, log out, and so on. All right, so I will put a link in the description for this page. And like I said, just go to the pre built VMs, find VirtualBox, click on the download arrow, unzip your file, and then just double click the uh, VBox file. It'll load it into VirtualBox, and then you could power it up and start using it. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.